We're, we're on the tarmac here at LaGuardia. The plane had a, had a tough landing. This isn't the first time this plane has had a tough landing. But the flight was actually delayed by about two hours. And when the plane landed, we were going through the, going through the clouds. We hit the ground, and we started to just skid. You just felt skidding. And the plane started to swerve to the right. And then there was just some bumping, and then the plane stopped. I, as I said, this isn't the first time. This is the Pence campaign plane. He's been flying on this plane for three plus months now. This isn't the first time that the plane has had a had a rougher landing. It's become, I guess, almost sort of a joke. Get ready for the landing. But uh, obviously, the conditions were a little bit more difficult here in New York City tonight. And uh, we're going to zoom in, and that is Karen Pence. Uh, that I believe you'll be seeing. I think we're on a little bit of a delay, but that is Karen Pence getting off the plane there. Uh, but then the plane right. swerved up. And and we need to okay. Well, we need a shot of the governor. So we're being taken away from the scene here. You're going to see the governor here in a few moments. We're being led away, but uh, the plane slid off. Uh, everybody got up. There was no to be clear. Everything flew around and flew forward, but the situation was not in which anybody was being thrown around. The governor got up quickly, and he walked up and he walked back to the back of the plane and actually was making sure that everybody was okay and even kind of gave some fist pumps in the air just as, you know, everybody's okay, everybody's safe. But he was making sure that everybody was okay. Uh, and that's, we didn't actually realize that we were totally off of the runway when this happened, but it wasn't until we started to see the lights uh, of the ambulance or the fire trucks all out there. Uh, <laughs> you can see the response. We're just kind of going with this at this point, you guys. Yeah. But uh, the governor was okay. Uh, Mrs. Pence is on the plane. Karen Pence, the first lady of Indiana, as well as Charlotte Pence, uh, their oldest daughter, who travels frequently with the campaign. Campaign staff, uh, the Secret Service, who takes about 10 rows, and about uh, eight members of the press. Uh, and then, uh, then they brought up the stairs, and obviously we just got off. I think that we saw earlier when the feed started coming in, you saw mud streaks uh and we are we're being where's jordan at sorry okay and so we're being taken away from the scene here Bob, uh, it, it was it, it's basically can you tell me obviously the, the governor and his wife and their daughter it's it's it, them staff and press is that basically who's on that plane yep that's who's on the pence plane uh he had a stop he was coming from fort dodge iowa uh landing for a fundraiser which uh We'll see whether that happens. I was going to be at Trump Tower here this evening. In the flights, and I think actually we sent in some video a little bit earlier of the governor playing football on the tarmac because of the weather conditions. How would you guys handle what the actual weather and weather, what the situation was? But uh, we are able to see here, and I'm going to actually go over here to the right, uh, and you can see how close we are. Uh, again, I think that our video is on 20-second delay here, but you'll see how close to the road we are over here on the right side uh and literally it's inside of the grass wow i don't know if you guys are seeing that now yeah, we can no. but I, we and you see actually i'm going to zoom in here to where the fence is and you didn't you don't it's actually pretty remarkable now <laughs> we're just coming to grips with kind of looking at this yeah, but that, how close we were to but that, how close we were to the road that plane is there. pretty far off that runway uh yeah it's in the grass there which i guess the the impact of the plane created mud, which is the mud uh, mark that we were able to see when we were when we first got off of the plane there. But everybody, I, I'm pretty sure I've still got I've got I still have bags up on the plane. Uh, the fire department came and said, "Please, everybody, just get off the plane now." We were trying to establish a shot here. Uh, again, we didn't even realize honestly what happened right when it happened. Uh, but the governor got up immediately, made sure Secret Service made sure the press was okay. Uh, I think we got the shot. We see him back over here. Sorry, it's a little, and I, I may even have some raindrops. We're operating Vaughn, the camera here. Where, we, where, were you guys, where were you guys coming in from? We were coming in from Fort Dodge, Iowa, where he had a campaign event. Uh, we had about a two, three-hour flight, uh, and so we've been in the air for a little while. And we knew that the storm was in here. He was already delayed for this fundraiser. It was supposed to start earlier this evening here in New York City. Uh, yeah. And were there were there announcements made? Uh, obviously, you guys had no idea what was happening, felt the impact, didn't quite realize the skid. Did, did anyone say anything about what was happening as it happened? Uh, absolutely. And, you know, I'll be honest. I had my phone out and was recording. Uh, a fellow reporter was sleeping. And because uh, it's, it's 
not abnormal to have these hard impacts. We were uh, recording it, but then I literally turned it off because I thought we were fine. And uh, then suddenly we slid off. But everything, phones, water bottles, about two seconds after the landing, uh, suddenly everything just shot forward. Uh, my seatbelt wasn't fully tightened, and I flew forward uh, and was obviously caught by the seatbelt. But uh, you realized uh, pretty quickly that after skidding there, the, the part was that it took the sharp right turn after about maybe four or five seconds, took a sharp right turn, and then maybe three seconds later, we came to a dead stop, which obviously the plane, when you're on the tarmac, uh, you're on for a little bit of while there. And, uh, and yeah, so you can see that the governor is there right now. Mrs. Pence, Karen Pence, the first lady, uh, was also getting off the plane. We saw Charlotte Pence earlier, their eldest daughter. But uh, he's traveling with several campaign advisors. You just saw him get some photographs from some of the fire department here. Again, to be clear, there's no injuries. Everybody was fine. Uh, but as we zoom back out over, uh, you'll see here where the plane is compared to in the response we saw those lights uh, immediately uh and i and i was actually hearing that there was originally reports as we were on the plane uh somebody had said that they had heard that there was a report that a plane had gone off the runway but not realizing that that was the plane that we were on again